how would you solve this problem? If 4y minus 3x is equal to 2, what is the value of the expression shown below? And that expression is 81 raised to the y over 27 raised to the x. What would you do if you see a problem like this? Well, the way to solve it is to rewrite it. 27 is 3 to the third power. You need to multiply 3 threes to get to 27. 81 is 3 to the fourth power. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 4 times is 81. So we're going to replace 81 with 3 to the fourth power and 27 with 3 to the third power. Now this is still raised to the y and this is still raised to the x. Now when you raise one exponent to another exponent, it's equivalent to multiplying the two exponents together. So we can multiply 4 and y to get 4y and 3 and x to get 3x. So this becomes 3 raised to the 4y over 3 raised to the 3x. Now another property of exponents is that when you divide two exponents that have a common base, you can subtract the exponents. So it's the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So a to the y over a to the x is equal to a raised to the y minus x. So this becomes 3 raised to the top exponent, 4y, minus the bottom exponent, 3x. Now, notice that we were given the expression of 4y minus 3x. We know the value of it, and it's equal to 2. So we can replace this with 2. This becomes 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. So that's what you can do in order to solve a problem like that. Therefore, b is the correct answer. Now, for those of you who are currently studying for the SAT exam, especially if you're planning on taking it soon, and if you need help with the math section, feel free to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash mathsciencetutor. So after you sign up, this is what it's going to look like. Now, if you come down here and click on SAT math, it'll take you to that category. You'll get access to all of my SAT math videos. Now, if you notice, some of them are hidden behind a paywall. Most of these videos are free on YouTube, but some of them, you can only access it on my Patreon page or on my YouTube membership program. Now, my Patreon page, to get access to those other ST math videos, you need to get the level two membership or higher. So keep that in mind. Now, at the end of this list, I have another ST math video. It's an older video, but it's about eight hours long. So if you want more practice problems, uh, definitely check that video as well. Now, this problem is very similar to the last problem. If 3x plus 2y is equal to 4, what is the value of the expression shown below? Now, just like the last problem, we need to find a common base. So what's a common base of 125 and 25? We know this to be 5. 5 squared, or 5 times 5, is 25. And 5 to the third power, or 5 times 5 times 5, is 125. So I'm going to replace 125 with 5 cubed, and I'm going to replace 25 with 5 squared. So now we can multiply those two exponents. So we get 3 times x, and then we can multiply these two, so that's going to give us 2 times y. Now when you multiply two variables with the same base but with different exponents, you can add the exponents. So what we can do is add 3x and 2y. This becomes 5 times 3x, I mean 5 raised to the 3x plus 2y, and we're given the value of 3x plus 2y. It's equal to 4. So we're going to replace this with 4. So now we have 5 raised to the fourth power. If you want to write it out, 
you can do that as well. So 5 times 5 is 25, and the same is true for that. 25 times 25. If you have a calculator, you can just get the answer, which is 625. But if you're not allowed to use it, then you need to go back to old school math and use long multiplication. So 5 times 5 is 25. Bring over the 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 2, that's 12. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Actually, before we do that, we need to add a 0 first. You can tell I haven't done this in a while. 2 times 5 is 10. Add the 1. This 2 is gone, by the way. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And then this gives us 625 when we add it. So the correct answer is answer choice D. Number 3. Which of the following could be a solution to the equation shown below? And we're given some possible solutions for the value of x. We have 5, 8, and 16. Now, there's two ways in which we can go about it. We can solve this equation and get the value of x, or we can plug in numbers and see which of those numbers make the equation true. Now, this equation is going to take time to solve, and so because this is a time test, you want to find the fastest way to get the right answer. In this case, it's not solving the equation, but it's better to plug in numbers because you can do it a lot faster. So let's start with the first one, 5. Let's replace x with 5. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1, that's 16. Here we have 3 times 5, which is 15, minus 11. The square root of 16 is 4. And 15 minus 11 is also 4. So because the left side is equal to the right side, we know that 4, I mean 5, is a solution because we replace x with 5. So the first one works. Now let's try the second one. Let's replace x with 8. 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1. That's 25. Here we have 24 as well. The square root of 25 is 5. 24 minus 11, that's 13. 5 does not equal 13. So the second solution is false. Now let's try the third one. Let's replace x with 16. 3 times 16 is 48 plus 1, that's 49. Here we have 48 minus 11. The square root of 49 is 7. And 48 minus 11 is 37, which does not equal 7. So the third one is false as well. So only statement 1 is true, or solution 1 rather. Therefore, A is the correct answer. Number 4. If 3b is equal to 15 square root 6 and b is the square root of 6y, what is the value of y? So if you saw this on the SAT exam, what would you do? Well, we have two equations and two variables, so we can solve for y. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this expression. 3b is equal to 3b. Because they're the same, they equal each other. On the left side, I'm going to replace 3b with 15 square root 6. On the right side, I'm going to write it as 3 times b. Now I'm going to replace this b with what it's equal to. So we have 15 square root 6 is equal to 3 times the square root of 6y. So now let's go ahead and solve this. I'm going to break down 15 into 5 and 3. 
rather than taking the square of both sides because if I did that I'll just get larger numbers. Notice that if we divide both sides by 3 we can cancel the 3. So we have 5 square root 6 is equal to the square root of 6y. Now 5 is the same as the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5 so we can replace 5 with this. Now because I have two square roots on the left side I can multiply what's inside to get 150. 6 times 25 is 150. 6 quarters is $1.50. So now I could set what's inside equal to each other. So 150 is equal to 6y. Another way of seeing this also, this might be easier, is to separate the 6 and the y. If we do it this way, we could divide both sides by the square root of 6, and we could see that if the square root of 25 is equal to, to the square root of y, then y must be 25. So c is the correct answer.